thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Oh, I just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so just want to thank you, Lord. You've helped my mind. You've helped my mind. Oh, you've helped my just want to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so good. Oh, you've been so to thank you, Lord. You've helped my mind. You've helped my mind. Oh, you've helped my just want to thank you, Lord. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you made me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I can't forget. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you made me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. How can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you made me free? Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Give the Lord a hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you do, Lord Jesus. How can I forget what you've done for me? There's an end to this planet. There's an end to each and every one of us. We must come to the end of everything. See the end? And God got an end. When he shall do what? Who's going to? 
<laughs> Remember the kingdom of his dear son. <laughs> We're adopted sons and daughters. <laughs> and that body is the church. And he's going to deliver us out of here. Don't Look, don't put nobody before God. Don't put your kids, don't put your husband, don't put your wife. Love them, but don't put them before God. Because God will take them. God, God, my, the God I serve is jealous. I was one time this brother, he was at the hospital. I think his wife was sick or something. So it was a, a, a it was a service. And she'd been in all day. And he called me, he said, Pastor, I ain't gonna make up the church. I'm gonna step, I'm stepping with, with my wife. I said, fine. I said, but you're not the doctor. <laughs> I said, what, you must be the doctor. It's gonna operate on her. I said, if I was you, I would get over here and pray for her. And turn it over to God and put God first. And God will take care of your wife. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing you can do. My wife was sick. I stayed in the hospital, slept in there with her and everything. But when it came time for prayer and service, I left her there. Right. Didn't I? Yeah. I'll be back. Right. I slept there. They came and rolled a bed and I slept there. Amen. But when it came time for church, I had God first. Amen. <laughs> Who hit me? And I turned my wife over to God. I said, God, you got it. <laughs> Who hit me? Because he the one kill and he the one make alive. Right, right. That's right. <laughs> Who hit me? My mama came to visit me. Oh, she Monday she was there. Oh, we was mama, 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 mama. We cooking. I spent been all day with her, sitting at the table, talking to her, la la, getting up. Hey, mama, want some bread? La la la. So, so service time came. So, mama, I gotta go. She said, Where you going? I said, I'm going to church. I didn't ask that she want to come. I asked, I'm going to church. She said, All right, baby. Came back. Cause we had a revival, three days. So the next day, I was doing the same thing. She said, Where you go? I said, Church. I, I asked her. She didn't want to go. So. I said, I got to go though. I said, Mama, I love you, but I'll be back. I'm going to church. She said, Huh, you ain't leaving me here by myself. <laughs> she got up every day and went to church with her. Then at the end of the day, she said, You know what? I really enjoyed myself. Yeah. <laughs> she said, Bishop Reed sure had me laugh. <laughs> Mama said, He's very comical, ain't he? <laughs> Who with me? You got to be around him. Yeah. <coughs> Who with me? He just didn't play. Tell him, Martin. Right. <laughs> he called a boo to boot and she was you. Anybody hear me? Right. Before she died, she said, yeah, that one of the kindest men I ever met. I said, you didn't know him. Because they seen him preaching, right? And, and, he, and he had that authority. And people thought he was mean, and he wasn't. He was just straight up. Man, that man gave the shirt off his back. He'll fuss at you too. Hey, I went to jail. He fussed me out on the phone. I, I'm in jail. He started fussing. You won't be saying that. I, 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 I ain't come to get nobody. Click. And the guy behind said, he said, what did he say? I said, he's on his way. <laughs> See, when, when you know somebody loves you, you don't care what comes out of their mouth. It's their heart that speaks. Louder than what your mouth is saying. I don't care. Every time mama whoop you or daddy whoop you, you know they love you. Am I right, y'all? Whoop a kid, he'll come back and, and grab his mama's leg later. 
when God love you, when he straighten you out, you know he just love you. Because he took enough time to straighten me out. Love don't mean he let you get away with everything. <laughs> you are what you are. You can't be a duck somewhere else and a chicken later. Who with me? That's just like you going home for the holidays. You get home, and when you here, you wear dresses. <laughs> Then when you get home, when you get somewhere else, you start wearing your pants and all your other stuff. That means you don't believe it. And God see you. You're not doing it to you or trying to have it somebody else. God see you. You don't believe God. I would go somewhere, somewhere, and then when I get there, I start drinking in front of everybody. Leave be private. <laughs> You know what they're going to say? They're going to tell you. I thought they would say. Hey, we don't believe in earrings, right? You get to China and put them on. You don't believe God. You just doing it because the pastor said it. I, I did the same thing. I, I, I did it because the pastor said it. And since I could, really I consider him, I respected him, but guess what? God showed me. Even though I did it, he showed it to me because I did it. I was willing to do it, but I'd never seen it. I didn't see, I didn't see your rings. I just told everybody, take them out. <laughs> the pastor said, take them out. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the scripture. And I was sitting in my office years ago, and God showed me why he didn't want him. And it just blew my mind. It just bust off wide open. They're God. <laughs> and he said, it was that scripture, you should worship no other God but me. And when I seen that, that's when I seen it rings. <laughs> my God is the almighty God, not no it rings. They're God's. You say I'm crazy or not, it's in the book. <laughs> you women put them on so don't you walk different. You act different. And the bigger it is, the more you throw them. Because why? They got, a, they got a spirit on them. And if you're going to do some research, it's a slave thing. <laughs> he called them idol gods. Hey, I'm going to believe what I believe wherever I go. If folks don't like it, that's their business. Y'all know it's Muslims. Y'all ever seen the Muslim women? You know them, but why? For what they wear, don't you? Go look at these Muslim women. They got that stuff over their head. They're draping. And they don't care what you say. And here we apostolic, and, and, and you don't want to be identified with nobody. You want to be identified with the world. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Somebody said, man, why be a hypocrite? Get out of church and wear what you want. <laughs> Anybody begging you to do nothing? God want to know when you obey him. And, and, and what did that say? It didn't say my Bible, did it? There's only one holy one. Who is that? God. So it's God's Bible. <laughs> hey, McDonald's got more sense than we do. They tell you where the uniform, you put it on. Without hesitation. Anybody ever been locked up to visit somebody? Yep. Yep. No earrings. That's right. No splits. Right. I said, hold up. Ain't that what we teach? <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all want to even put on drawers. 
pantyhose. Just a skirt and that's it and walk outside. And you don't know the sunlight hit it and everybody looking at their booty. Because you want to give it up. You might get easy access somewhere. So you can, so you can draw down quick. <laughs> Somebody said, you don't want to be sacred. Who will be? Oh man, it got quiet in here now. What if I bust up in here with a dress on? How many will y'all leave? I know how brother. Man, I ain't no old fool that can't do what do. Man, he got to be crazy. He start picking up the phone. Man, we baptized me. Man, he baptized me. <laughs> Who will stay? You see? I don't know how I got all dressed. God just switched it. God wants us looking different. We're supposed to be the what? The light of the world. We're supposed to mix with the world. He said, have no fellowship. Light and darkness don't mix. When I go home to visit, I come visit my family and I'm gone. I don't go out to no parties with them. I don't hang out like that. Ask my wife. You don't do that. Matter of fact, they separate from me. They wait on me to leave. If they ain't doing that to you, it's something wrong with your Holy Ghost. <laughs> And look, they was doing that before I came a pastor. Amen. I'm just trying to tell you what kind of respect you get. And if any of y'all saved and got a hub, he's scared of you. <laughs> Am I right, Martin? He ain't going to tell you, but he is. Now when he's scared of you, he's bragging to his friends about you. Y'all, they come to my house today, man, my wife is saved. Holy Ghost feel. Man, don't, don't come in with that nonsense. <laughs> uh, 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 the deacon, he's, he said he was smoking weed, bragging about his wife at church. He got up testifying. He said, I was out there with my boys, and I was bragging about my wife in church while we was all drinking. And we ain't going over there today. And one, 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 one might say, uh, uh, no, nah, Sister Grace, I ain't going over there, man. She gave me that Holy Ghost look. <laughs> I ain't going over there. I know. I was in the world. I did the same thing. If I see anything, look, look churchy. I ain't messing with it. So no, man, man, that girl, she go to church. You got to be crazy. What, you had to put a curse on me? It's, uh, it means something. It means a lot. It says something. And they don't want you hanging around them. Because why? You mess with their conscience. You ain't got to say nothing. <laughs> they just look at you. <laughs> Man, when they heard them leave. <laughs> I went to a family union. I left. They, they was in the backyard, Sister Martin. I left. I heard somebody, he go. They started partying. <laughs> the beauty just went up. <laughs> it's something to be saved. Yeah, yeah we ain't got it all together, but they got to see something. We ain't perfect, but they got to see something. And that something is you don't belong with us. You want to get with everybody. <laughs> I'm alone. I don't want to get with everybody. <laughs> I don't like big crowds. 
Somebody say amen. Who with me? Yeah, everybody try to be like the world. So the world can accept you. They're going to never accept you. <laughs> Your family ain't going to accept you. Stay in church. you see. They don't like you. Your own family. Who with me? All because you're in church.